begin with a health care clinic in Amherst uh, taking the town's police department to court. Yeah, Compass Care is suing for its own surveillance video given to police for an arson investigation. This tonight, all part of our follow up series, our commitment to you to staying on top of the stories that impact you and your community. That alleged arson happened earlier in the morning on June 7th. Compass Care on Eggert Road, which provides alternatives to abortions, believes a pro abortion group was behind that blaze. The clinic says it handed the surveillance footage over to police that day and was unable to make a copy or even see that video beforehand. Well, Compass Care Pregnancy Services is now suing the Amherst Police Department for the return of that video evidence. The clinic's lawsuit says it has an immediate need for a copy of its surveillance video to identify potential suspects. The clinic claims Amherst Police have refused to turn over copies despite multiple requests. We're still investigating it. We don't want to disseminate the tape to anyone at this time because we don't want it to get out what we're doing or who we're looking at. We don't want to disseminate the tape to anyone at this time because we don't want it to get out what we're doing or who we're looking at. Because we don't want it to get out what we're doing or who we're looking at. 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 But Compass Care President and CEO James Harden tells me they want the video back now so they can do their own investigation. It's been 105 days. The FBI is not forthcoming. They're refusing to communicate with the public. The public deserves to know what's going on. There have been no arrests of, of any of the organizations that have been attacked. Um, they're all pro-life organizations. No arrests have been made. That's, that's a big question mark. They wouldn't even let us view our own video surveillance. You would think that that would be important for an investigation. Uh, but they're saying that it's, that it's important for the investigation for us not to view our own video surveillance. Harden says a pro-abortion group known as Jane's Revenge claimed responsibility for the attack on their facility and many others. They gave us 30 days to shut down um, on um, May 6th after a firebombing of a pro-life organization in Madison, Wisconsin. 30 days later, uh, they firebombed us. So um, we've had over 50 attacks on pro-life pregnancy centers. So they took responsibility and they said, uh, you know, you've got if you don't shut down, you know, next time it's not gonna be so easily cleaned up as fire and graffiti. That is a death threat. And we've had other death threats after that. Harden tells me he doesn't feel law enforcement officials are working hard enough to make an arrest. Sliwa says multiple agencies are involved and it takes time. At this juncture, we are both interested in determining who, if anybody did it. I mean, who, if anybody did it. I mean, who, if anybody did it. All right, as I mentioned, multiple agencies involved here. I'm told the Amherst Police Department, FBI, ATF, and federal and state authorities are all investigating. Awesome! There's a $25,000 reward. The FBI really trying to catch these bad guys. Great! So where's the surveillance footage? Figures it was a simp that was doing this. Yep, three fucking stooges. That's a strange looking license plate. Must be one of those pea plates. What the fuck is pea plates? You mean paper plates. No ho, I meant photoshopped plates. Why the fuck would the feds photoshop the license plates cover up any possible leads? Duh, the feds are doing this for our own protection. Or the arsonist are the feds. The feds don't give a fuck about the justice system. They fucking torching down pro-life facilities. False flagging mass shootings, crisis acting insurrections, planting evidence, setting up innocent victims to get punished for the crimes they invented. If they don't give a fuck about a woman wanting to give her baby life, why the fuck would they care about the greater good of America and its citizens' life? Any fucking ways I'll take my $100,000 reward money via cash up. Just kidding. Bitcoin. Psych. Like I didn't know that was you too. Nope, fuck BTC. Monero baby. I know reward money are paid out via giant checks. So, fuck you pay me. Super small.